let's leave the resort. Good morning. So on today's itinerary, we are getting ready to head out to Lovina Island. And Lovina Island is this beautiful remote island with crystal clear water that you have to take a boat to get to. It's about an hour and a half away from where we're staying in Sidi Bou Said. Now Sidi Bou Said is the main tourist destination here in Tunisia. It's known for the white houses with the blue roofs. Really looks a lot like Santorini, Greece, quite honestly, but it's gorgeous on the Mediterranean Sea. So if you are planning a trip to go to Lavina Island, you definitely need to plan in advance. Number one, you need to make a reservation with the island a few days before you go. So we did that. And then number two, if you're staying in the general Tunis area or city Bou Said like us, you have to figure out your transportation to get to the island's port. It's about an hour and a half away. So we called the taxi company Taxi Mommy. Don't just rely on bolts. Bolts are what will get you around. That's their version of Uber here in the tourist destination area, in the general area of Tunis, but it doesn't go quite that far out to the port. So we called Taxi Mommy. They're gonna be here to pick us up. It is a little bit pricey to get out to the port. It's 400 dinars, which is the equivalent to about 127 USD. So you'll definitely want to budget for that. And then once you get to the port to get to the island, it is 80 dinars, which is equivalent to about 26 USD. But that includes your round trip to and from the island on the boat, as well as lunch. So we looked up Lavina Island before we got here. We saw it on Instagram, it seems super beautiful. And then our hosts recommended it as well. So if you're looking to take a day trip, this is definitely a great option for a beautiful beach. The beaches around the Tunis area are very nice, but they're city beaches and we are here to go after that crystal clear blue Mediterranean water that everybody dreams of seeing. So let's go. As the speedboat slices through the crystal waters, we approach a beach club that feels like an exquisite secret whispered by the ocean itself. The scene unfurls with a striking grandeur. Pristine infinity pools spill into the horizon, their edges blurring into the endless blue. Above, the Lavina sign stands sentinel on the hills, an elegant nod to Hollywood's iconic landmark, but with a tropical twist. It's as if we've stumbled upon a hidden corner of paradise where luxury meets raw, untamed beauty. Okay, so they came and they brought us all of our food, a bunch of dips, uh, tuna, salad, eggplant. It's really, really good. And then I thought that was all the food that we were going to get. Um, and then they brought us our main course, fish, rice. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm excited. how cool this is it is a uh, like a mountainside island with this like <laughs> like little tiny infinity pools on the water so we just ate it was delicious chicken fish uh, but there's no alcohol which we just found out here they have like mojitos and stuff but not alcoholic but you can bring your own alcohol if you want to drink so like I have a beer in my hand you know, it's somewhat of a family vibe as you can see but it's definitely not a not a touristy thing. It's very much just like a, a local vibe. We have a nice little beach here. The sun's out. Oh, what a great day! What would would you expect this in Tunisia? You know what I mean? Like it's it's so cool. Check it out. As the sun sets on Tunisia, we leave with a sense of wonder at its blend of ancient history and vibrant culture. This journey has shown us that travel is about connecting with the heart and soul of a place. Safe travels, and may your adventure be just as enriching. <laughs>